I'm gonna try and give this video making thing a go. Picked up some material and we're gonna make a sign for the shop. And also picked up a rear end for the truck cause it's the pinions going out on it. But yeah, so let's make it happen. We're gonna load the file into here for the sign. I made it at the house, put it on a flash drive. It's just easier to do stuff at home when I can sit down and don't have a other million things coming on. We'll open up sheet cam. So now that we got it in here on sheet cam, we need to make uh, we need to make our pads and our layers. So I verified that everything's going to be cut how I need it to. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of move this just over a little bit closer to the edge there. Just check our distance from the edge. I want to give a little bit of leeway. That way I have some extra space over there to mess with. So now we're going to go to the command CNC. Now we're going to go ahead and set the X and Y on the table. So this is neat. Bring the table all the way down to the corner edge here. And we've got it right on the edge. I've already squared up the material with the table. So we're gonna go ahead and zero X, zero Y, and that's our starting access. And then you'll watch this tool move through the path. And let's go ahead and run this and hopefully we don't waste a, a $80 piece of uh, metal. Make sure our bolts are set. Resume. And you see it running the path there. We're just going to fast forward through the whole cutting process. Um, if you guys want to see a real time, I'll upload the video. Otherwise, there's really no point. It's a eight minute long video. You can see it. You'll see it run through all the codes there. All the zero and the X is X and Y. The whole thing with the software is pretty easy to use. There's just a few steps that you have to go through that, you know, they just kind of add up in the end. You got to draw up your shape or, you know, the dimensions of it. And then you have to save that, upload it onto the sheet cam program, make your layers, make your paths for the tooling and then go upload it on the, the command CNC plasma um, and then start the machine and set all that up. And there's a lot of grinding and, and prep work that goes into uh, in the cleaning up the material after you cut it. You know, you have the little bits of slag that'll come off the backside, and you know this if you ever use a plasma cutter or a torch. Some of these clips I had to mute because of the music in the background. Next was just to kind of line up all the edges and, and take measurements and then uh, I found it easier to go ahead and clean all the metal off before welding it together. That way it's less work to do in the end. And just using paper towels and uh, paint thinner.
the Rust-Oleum paint thinner seems to work best. I've got some shims underneath the sheet of uh, steel there to kind of offset it up to the tubing so it's not right on the edge, but it's not right in the center either. We're going to run some tacks down here and then go ahead and weld it up. This plastic is a pain to take off sometimes. Uh, it'll rip and tear and then you gotta find a new edge. Now this is the second side of the sign that uh, we have the piece of aluminum between there. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it down and get it all put together. I'm really bad at videoing stuff and keeping track of it, um, but the sign is up. I'll touch up some paint on the bottom where we put the cement, uh, but I think it looks pretty good. And it's double-sided, so you can see it. We have a two-way service road here. And it's got that sheet of aluminum in between. So yeah, I've been here for a year and a half in this building and hadn't had a sign until now.